Why does the University of Edinburgh have a collection of musical instruments? For more than 175 years, our university has been collecting musical instruments for use in teaching, and the founding of our collection can be traced to one man, Professor John Donaldson, who was hired as a Reed Professor of Music in 1845. Donaldson was an interesting choice to be the head of a fledgling music school. Not much is known about his early life, but we believe that he was the son of an organ maker and grew up in Northern England, most likely in Newcastle. As a young man, he was a piano teacher based in Glasgow, Scotland, and he ran a music business. At the age of 31, Donaldson left Glasgow to study law at Oxford. He then established himself as a lawyer in Edinburgh in 1826. Although a seemingly successful lawyer, Donaldson really wanted to become the Reed Professor of Music. He applied for the position in 1841, but was unsuccessful. He applied for the same position in 1843 and was rejected again. Finally, on his third attempt, he was successful and was appointed to the position in 1845, which shows that persistence does pay off. In Donaldson's application, he outlined how he would organize the music department, and importantly, for our story, this included a suggestion to purchase a collection of scientific and musical instruments to, quote, exhibit a progressive view of the state of music from the earliest ages, of which we have many authentic examples to the present day." Unquote. In other words, Donaldson used his instruments in teaching to show how music has changed over time. Over his 20-year tenure, Donaldson collected around 100 musical instruments and around 200 scientific instruments for use in teaching. The musical instruments in Donaldson's collection span a variety of time periods and regions. Donaldson collected old, or what he called archaic, European instruments, such as this 17th century hurdy-gurdy. He seemed interested in collecting contemporary instruments that may have been specifically purchased to demonstrate the advancements in technology and acoustical designs of the time such as this flute with the latest improved fingering system, which would have been very advanced for the day. Donaldson also sought out examples of instruments from other parts of the world, and roughly half of the instruments are examples from parts of Africa, India, Burma, and China, like this Yukin. In 1859, Donaldson installed his collection in a museum in the newly built Reed Music Classroom. This room is considered to be the oldest purpose-built musical instrument museum in the world. When Donaldson died in 1865, he left an incredible legacy. But sadly, after his death, the collection was generally ignored until the 1950s, when the early music movement reinvigorated people's curiosity in old and obscure instruments. At this time, the university began actively collecting again, and collectors started to donate their instruments to our institution. One milestone in our history was the donation of the Raymond Russell Collection of Keyboard Instruments in 1959. That donation was the impetus for not only the purchase of St. Cecilia's Hall, the oldest concert hall in Scotland, but also its conversion into a museum. Additional significant donations followed, including the Galpin Society Permanent Collection, Glenn Collection of Wind, String, and Percussion Instruments, James Blade's Percussion Collection, and the Sir Nicholas Shackleton Collection, the largest collection of clarinets in the world. In many ways, you can say our museum is a collection of collections, and today we have over 6,000 musical instruments. Over the past two centuries, the purpose of collecting has remained the same. The instruments are used in teaching, they are available to researchers and the musically curious, and they are used to demonstrate how music has changed over time.